Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, a little different, no racing, but uh, 108 Predator, or the clone is ready to rock and roll for this coming up weekend. But uh, today, we're gonna offload the Predator, get the factor cleaned up, clean the bearings, go through everything, get her set up for this weekend. First, I got some chores. So we're mowing the grass. Stay tuned. As you guys can tell, straight off the track and into the trailer. So uh, when I'm cleaning my carts, usually I clean the tires of that track before I leave or even you know with the sprayer I got, I spray it down there, at least kind of get some of the dirt off. Um, but I keep it simple, simple green. Um, just get a nice bottle, give her a little dilution. No real science to it, but rarely pause the mowing situation due to the fact Somebody, I don't know who, left the ignition on. Battery's dead. Who would do such a thing? Blue tire wash with dirt removing technology. It's all I use. All right, so I get it all sprayed down, spray the motor, everything. I start the motor, let it heat up, dissipate all that heat, and I turn the fuel off, let the fuel run out. So like I said, right now, we're just gonna run the fuel out of it, let it uh, drain that carburetor. That way I know it's sitting for a week and it should be good to go. Um, just gotta remember to turn it on or turn it off when I'm on the track. Here is, we get everything cleaned up. So we're gonna pull the rear axle bearings, we're gonna pull the chain, we're gonna pull the clutch, and we're gonna pull the front wheel bearings. We're gonna get them all cleaned up. bit but uh, I guess I want to be a little more descriptive for you guys so obviously gotta take the wheels off wheels came off uh, pop the motor slide the motor back you guys know the deal there um, before you pull the axle off and get too deep with the axle always know your spacing so for me right now I am uh, running four and a quarter on the left this is top secret information so don't tell nobody uh, and then four and a half on the right so I know that if you don't know or you've got a bad memory like Jackson, write it down. Write it down. We got our axle out, lay it on the table. We got our clutch out, lay it on the table. Both left and right hub. So anything that's got a ball bearing or should be lubed is off the cart. Uh, because we just washed it, make sure you go through. Your spindle is going to have a little bit of residue on it. Make sure you get that off, dry it off. I like to wipe it down with WD-40 afterwards. Kind of keeps that moisture out there. Um, I don't know, do what you want. Um, so right now I'm gonna take apart the axle. Uh, not a big deal. Also on my cart, I run uh, these spacers. Uh, it was on the first cart I ever bought. And I really like the concept, so I do it. I got a bunch of individual spacers here, as you can see. And I use them as a spacer to the outside hub. And uh, that's kind of my neutral set. I, I've a, I, I do some adjustment, obviously, to uh, get out of the corners a little better. 
um, on exit, you know, move it outside, so on and so forth. But I have a general reset and that's where it's at now. So I know I'm at four and a quarter, four and a half at all times. Let's get these hubs off, get these bearings out and I'll show you how I clean my bearings. See, everything on my bench is set up the same way. It was set up on my cart. So when I yank these hubs here and everything off, this is my right side hub. Keep it on the right side. Cleaning. I use mineral spirits. Go to Lowe's, get an entire gallon. Don't be cheap. This is $17. It'll last you a little while. I actually recycle mine as much as I can for all this dirt bearings. So, this isn't red sand baloney tire prep. Also, these things you can find them on Amazon. They work great. Little squeeze bottles. Um, or you can waste all your money on brake cleaner. The decision is also up to you. Spirits on this, use brake cleaner. Uh, I run the Inferno, I know everyone else runs the other jam. Uh, pick this up with one of my carts, it's obviously been to a machine shop and worked. Uh, and it's been good to me, I hated it at times and thought I needed to change it, but still running with it so. Last but not least, chain. It's the dirtiest, so I always clean it last. Um, you just want to get it in here. And... It was time lapse. How much of that was me babbling as I pretended the time lapse? How much of that was me pretending like I knew what I was talking about? But regardless, got all the bearings cleaned up. Use mineral spirits, uh, soaked it for a few minutes, you know, five minutes or so. Freely spun everything in my hand. You want to hear, it, you can hear sand or any kind of grit in there. And you want to roll them and spray them until you no longer hear that grit. Um, so we got everything cleaned up. Um, you get everything sprayed off with a, with a hose. Unfortunately, I've yet to have 220 wired out to my shop. So uh, working off of our little pancake compressor, but it is what it is. It works. Changing up my normal routine. Uh, I usually just have always been using just WD-40. I get in there with a little WD-40 because I do this so often, every two, three, four races. Um, every race, I at least try to get the bearings even if it's on the cart. Every three, four, five races max, I take them apart and do what you're seeing now. Um, I got some friends and everyone, uh, a couple people in the comments section. I definitely see it in the comments section. Um, Try flow, try flow. So we're gonna try try flow this time. This will be the first time using it, and uh, let's hope it works wonders. Didn't come with a straw, but I think I can fish one out of one of these cans. Uh, gonna get everything sprayed up, lubed up, make sure everything feels good. Like I said, that grit sound that you can hear and see. Make sure that's not in any of these bearings. If it is, we'll go back to the cleaning process with the mineral spirits, and uh, yeah, until it sounds good or it needs to be replaced, whatever the case may be.
do that a lot. I don't know what it means, but I'm talking to you, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not done, but I just wanted to say that. It's pretty cool. Continuously getting followers every day. Continuously uh, getting told to uh, show what I do in a shop. Uh, if you like it, don't like it, let me know. Up, down, keep the racing. More of what you got going on. Obviously, we got projects all over the place. If you like it, let me know. I'll keep feeding it to you. I enjoy it. It's fun. And uh, let's get this thing put back together. definitely might be too long uh old trusty died so we're coming at you on the seven um like i said we're at a good stopping point uh appreciate you guys watching maybe you learned something maybe i should learn something more so please comment let me know what you think um i think it feels good a little tight extra grease on the clutch i think for that most part from bang beautiful uh still gotta adjust a couple things like i said we're gonna start getting some tire prep i've already started on a set of maxes at these vegas i gotta set in the trailer um we're gonna we're gonna be prepared for anything that track those at us because we are definitely running the 108 over here clone i don't know if i'll run masters or not uh this race i might see might, might run heavy i see where the see where the uh see where the pack's at and if there's any money i'll try to chase it but that's how it goes uh appreciate it watching everybody watching like comment subscribe you guys know the deal until next time, see you at the track. Peace. And yes, I'm about to mow the grass. Hopefully the battery is not as dead as it was when I tried earlier. Later.